Another question. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, Who's your question is, to? This is for uh, Dr. Kaya. Um, so the question has to do with, if, if you think about it historically, it was very expensive, as I understand, to have one piece of papyrus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So today we have billionaires buying newspapers, having think tanks, etc. How um, do you think there was actually an effect there that, because it was so expensive to write one page, that the character of the writings were actually done by effectively ancient billionaires? Yes. <laughs> uh, and also the people writing these are highly educated uh, even Mark which is written in a low dialect but that's that's like Mark Twain being written you know or writing you know Huckleberry Finn it's deliberate it's not he's that he's I used to think this I used to think he was some hick or whatever but that once I learned how ancient education worked it's impossible like and, and, and the construction once I learned the construction of Mark how literarily brilliant it is this guy's super educated and understands like high-level uh, uh, Greek composition. He's just choosing to write in a low dialect because that's their audience. Um, and that's part of the gospel itself, is the least shall be first, right? So like, let's make this look humble and low and then hit them with these ideas that we want them to believe. This is how we're going to influence them. And not look, make it look like highfalutin rhetoric because that's the stuff that people hate and, and think is not reliable. It comes from the, the, the corrupt elite, right? So they want to make it look like common person's uh, communication. So... Um, Anyway, yeah. Uh, what was the question again? I well, got just the, the character. Of yeah, so right. yeah, so expensive. So uh, like a, a book. Well, see, like a gospel is not that expensive. Uh, that gospel might run you like a grand in equivalent money. If, if you uh, do a one-to-one -one comparison, dollar for dollar, based on the minimum wage today and the minimum wage then, a gospel would run you about a thousand dollars to get a copy made. Uh, a full book, like a, like a whole New Testament, that'd be like ten, twenty grand. Uh, so you can think like, and that's just one unit, like or just one copy, of, not, not to commission it to be written, but I mean to actually create a physical version that you can hand to someone. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to disseminate like a hundred of these, that, that's a lot of freaking money. Who's ponying this up, right? Um, now on the other side of that, we do know we, there's a lot of uh, experts who've looked at this. The quality of scribal work in the New Testament manuscripts only starts to resemble professional scribal houses in the third century A.D., uh, and only a little bit, and it's only by the 4th century that you get really professional scribal work. Before that, it looks like these are unprofessional scribes that are making lots of mistakes, uh, dialectical mistakes, spelling mistakes, and all kinds of things. Um, so that the, the they obviously were uh, doing it on the cheap, as it were, but even for them on the cheap is still out of the range of your average person. Like These are not uh, shepherds and farmers publishing these books. It, so that, that's, that's the thing. You're, you're right, I don't know about billionaire might be excessive, but certainly there's wealthy elites driving this from from above. And, and when you get that realization, and you see it a little bit in Paul, like, like Paul's super erudite, super educated. This guy is not just some pauper walking around. Like he, he's got some backstory and some influence in social station, um, even already in Paul. And you can see that, that. So there was this elite basically running things. Um, Keith Hopkins did a whole article on this where we have to take that into account. Like there, there, there clearly was an elite structure running this uh, this scam or cult, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and, and, and we have to take that into consideration when we try to interpret the evidence. It wasn't just this ground up, uh, you know, popular uprising. It wasn't just run by farmers and yokels. It was, it was there were elites basically trying to call these people up uh, into a movement.